Hey now, you may be stuck in quarantine like me, but you're gonna feel like you took a trip to Vegas now because we are going to be TikTok talking. The Omega Seamaster, roulette bezeled, soccer timer chronograph from 1969. Now, look past all this for a moment and you'll see that this is just a typical three registered caliber 861 manual wind chronograph that you will find all through Omega's line in their Seamaster and Speedmaster lines of this period. But what Omega did with this reference is they specifically calibrated the subdials and face to time a soccer match. Or for my non-American friends out there, that's what we call football. Now, was there a demand for such a watch? Uh, the evidence on the one hand would tell me no. As far as I know, and please correct me if I'm wrong, only two companies produce this watch, watch like this, um, Omega and Breitling with the reference 2676 slow chrono. But then on the other hand, I look at Omega and Omega produced three different references of this watch. There's this one, which is the 145.019, which is a 41 millimeter internal rotating bezel chronograph. Then they made uh, the reference 0.016, which is a slightly smaller at 38 millimeter and no bezel whatsoever, just the chronograph features. And then finally they produced a reference 0.020, which is again a 41 millimeter, but instead of the bezel rotating, it's a fixed speedometer style bezel that you see similar to the one on the um, Speedmaster. But this, and then to make things even more interesting, they've produced this reference in two versions. The more common is just a plain black internal rotating bezel with a 12 hour scale. And then there's this one, which is the roulette, which is a 1224 four colored second time zone rotating bezel. Now this bezel has popped up on some of Omega's other models. Uh, most commonly you'll see it on the chrono stop. Uh, and also there it's, it's in the new bullhead reissue. I, I just, but I love it on this watch. I think it just adds such an interesting, interesting feature to uh, the look of this watch. If you're looking for a watch that makes a statement, boy, this one is it. I get more comments on this watch when it's on my wrist than pretty much anything else in my collection. Now, these, the, 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 this color dial is not unique, especially as they moved into the 1970s. Uh, you all know that the, some of the dials just got way, way out there. Uh, I suppose the, um, the pinnacle of that would be the Tudor Mon Monte Carlo. Uh, that is sort of considered uh, the apex of that. But what I love about the Omega is, yes, the dial's crazy. Yes, there's a lot of colors, a lot of things going on, but it has a utilitarian function. And also it still keeps its beautiful lines from the 1960s. So it kind of straddles both worlds. You've got that 70s sort of crazy dial, but yet these beautiful, beautiful lines of the Seamaster cushion shaped case that you saw in the 1960s. This watch originally came with a Omega bracelet. Uh, it was missing when I picked up the watch. So I put one of uh, these um, Marine National Erica's Originals on here. Uh, give them a plug. She makes just fantastic, fantastic straps, um, which you can get in a variety of different styles and colors. I personally got this one uh, because it had the gray and the orange to kind of pick up the colors on the dial. Speaking of which, when this watch was new, this was white, not cream. So it was a bright white. The hands were a bright orange and they sort of matched the orange of that hand. If you look online, you will see this watch for sale and they look beautiful. The whites are white, the oranges are orange. Here's the problem. All those parts are made aftermarket. It's very easy to pick up this watch with the more common black dial, swap in the roulette, swap in the new hands and claim it's a roulette watch. There is no way to tell if that's the way it came from the factory. Uh, it, the reference is exactly the same for both watches. So the only way you can tell, in my mind, is if you've got this beautiful patina. Remember, this watch is 50 years old. For this still to be bright white, for these still to be bright orange, would pretty much be impossible. 
But as this watch sat in the sun, got worn, those colors faded to this beautiful patinaed cream that you see uh, and this sort of yellow. You can see a little bit of the orange is still there, but it sort of became yellow. And it really leads me to believe that this watch, uh, is, along with the wear that you see on the case, that it is all original. So this is truly a factory roulette bezeled Omega soccer timer. So that's it for today. I hope you felt uh, it kind of took your mind off what's going on. Uh, we'll be TikTok talking again, sports watches of the 50s, 60s, and 70s. But until that time, stay well, stay safe, and remember, we're all in this together.